This is probably more of a coaching video than a how-to video, but talking about side hustles today, talking about lawn care, talking about things that anybody can do, young, old, uh, you want to make some cash money, you're not probably going to get rich, but you might, there's a chance. Um, so really talking about what all you can do. Well, so what do you need? First off, you need to have the hustle. Uh, this one's not passive. It does take time, but it's one of the most satisfying things that pays well for the time invested. Uh, it also takes seeking out people that need the service. It takes seeking out clients, finding people that want you to mow their yard or take care of their yard or take care of their landscape. That's why I call it a grind a little bit. Uh, it's not easy. It takes time. It takes persistence. But you had to be willing to do the things that will create a positive customer experience. Lots of people skip over those. That's number one. What else do you need? You need equipment. Does it need to be nice? Does it need to be new? Does it need to be perfect? No. You need a mower. It could be a push mower. It could be a riding mower. It could be a zero turn mower. It could be a self-propelled mower. You just need a mower. You need a trimmer, weed eater, whatever you want to call it. You need something to be able to cut that grass away from the sidewalks, away from the trees, away from anything that your mower won't get close enough to. doesn't need to be new. Find one. You need a blower to start. You need to be able to clean all that stuff off, take care of everything, make everything look nice and neat. Like I said, doesn't have to be nice. just needs to get the job done. Look for used equipment. Find it on Facebook Marketplace. Find it at yard sales. Look for people selling it you know, that, that are in the business that want to get out of the business. You can find it. You can find it reasonably inexpensive. I purchased a new, brand new Toro mower at Tractor Supply. Beginning of the year, was on clearance, $500 mower, got over $200, used it all season. You need transportation. Maybe. Maybe you don't. My son at 11 or 12 just picked up his, you know, clients in the neighborhood walk down the street, mower in hand, weed eater, blower stacked on top of it, just talking to people. Uh, people love to talk to kids and get them to do things, get them to do work for them. He did a great job of it and probably doesn't scale real well. So you might need something that's a little better than that. I've seen people haul mowers in trunks, in minivans, on trailers. You don't need the full F-250 full-blown trailer, you can, you know, once you're able to scale a little well, but you can have anything. You, you just need to be able to get there. The people that you're taking care of their yard, they don't care. They just want it done nice and they want it to look good when they're done, when you're done. So that's the key thing. So how do you find these people? Well, that's, that's one of the things I talked about it being a grind. Uh, and we'll talk about it a little later on, but first things first, just get one. You just need to get one person. The power of being able to get one and having that person be a good word of mouth, that's still one of the best things in the business, one of the best ways to get customers. Just find one customer and you'll be able to go from there. You'll be able to get reviews if you set up Google, if you set up Facebook, if you set up um, Thumbtack or other apps, Angie's List, that's going to be your one to get started. So that's one of the other things you can do, apps. Good way to reach a broad audience. Not always the best way to get the customers, but sometimes it gets you in the door. Thumbtack has been a great experience for me on a lot of different side hustles. The Nextdoor app, people talk to their neighbors frequently on the Nextdoor app. It's another one that's a great, good place to get started. GreenPal, good place to get started. We'll talk more about that one in a later episode. Just to tell you what that one's all about. There's some, it's, a, it's kind of a new um, lawn mowing app that's out there. Social media and Facebook, good places to generate leads. Uh, anything like that that can get your, your name out there is super helpful. Old school, flyers, especially when, if you're walking down the street and you can catch people outside. Um, it's a lot harder to tell a person no than it is to tell an ad or a call or you know just catching a flyer and, and throwing it in the trash. Harder to tell them no. So... That's kind of the today's coaching on mowing. We'll talk more on how to really do it, how to make money, how to find some of these things, how to do some other uh, leads and whatnot. More episodes to come.